Uh, they have very, very strong jaws. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes um, they'll bite you just a little bit harder than what our tender arms are used to. Hello, uh, we are Mick and Melissa and we are the owners of two Bobcats. Owning, owning bobcat cats, you know that you're going to have bruises and you know you're going to have scratches and you're going to have little bites. Um, they have never um, Not once. hurt us in a way out of anger. It's just when they really start playing. Yeah. Have a couple of little broken bones in the hands um, <laughs> and lots of scabs. Lots of scabs. When I was a kid, I found a bobcat rustling around in some hay in a barn. And I didn't know any better, I just thought it was a kitten, so I scooped it up and I took it inside. And we were really close. So I remembered that as a kid and thought, if there was ever a point in time as an adult where we could try again with one, uh, I really wanted to give it a shot. It was supposed to be just one home, but we ended up having two. So we got Gypsy about a year ago in January of 2018. Monaco about two months later. And we've had them now for what? Almost about six months together. Um, and they're learning to get along really well. And each month it gets a little bit better. <laughs> I'm the food prepper. And what Bobcats eat is a fresh mix of chicken, steak, we tried hamburger, and everyone suggests hamburger, but neither of them like it. <laughs> Shrimp, uh, salmon. Expensive taste. Pork, and it's all good stuff. And I always go for the heavier fats cuts of meat, and we feed them once a day in the morning. I also uh, put a supplement on top, and it includes bone marrow, feathers, fur, teeth, just anything and everything that they would ingest in the wild, so hopefully they're not missing it. They also get organs. You know, we'll put some yeah. some animal organs in their food. <laughs> as far as damage to the house goes, as you can see, our couch is in great condition. Um, they pee in the toilet. <laughs> Sometimes in the sink. Sometimes in the sink, yes. Come to find out that it's actually um, innate in them because they're wild animals and they don't want their scent to be left because they like to stay elusive. Um, they like to pee in streams and ponds and all that stuff. And so in the house, as soon as they find the toilet, that's their preferred place to go to the bathroom because it hides their scent, which is so cool. <laughs> Can I flush for me? They love hard and they play hard. Um, we've always been the type of people that have never really taken the normal path. So um, it was just a natural interest to us. First and foremost, will this work? You have to really work for their respect, but once you get it, there's this really tight bond that you just can't get with any other kind of animal. I mean, we've owned dogs, we've owned cats, we've owned lizards, we've owned every kind of animal. And I've, we've never owned one that when we walk in the door from even being gone for two hours, they are so excited to see you. And, and, and they're just gypsies all up in me and jumping on me and Monaco's wanting us to play with her. They just, we are their life. Absolutely. And in captivity, they live um, between 20 and 30 years. So this is a very long-term commitment. We're very prepared for that. We're gonna be cruising around in our walkers and our canes <laughs> telling everybody, come see my bobcats. <laughs>